this is divine sunshine welcome to my channel divine unisoul's 11 i picked a short one there so again we get straight on into uh what we're talking about today which is understanding what is this reunited <laughs> what what's going on with these energies about reunite i don't know i messed up my top box i'm gonna leave it down here in my shelf i like how i did last time what was it like a pick a bag almost like i put my hand down in there and to see clear about what um ones i'm led with but um last week all i was on some as i call it or being again recharged um the energies were brought to me about uh reunited it say reunited and it feels so good reunited and it's understood his one perfect fit and baby this one is it. We both are so excited because we're reunited. Hey, hey. Reunited. Hey. Do, 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 do. All right, you better sing it. I might put that in the description, <laughs> in the community tab. But the reason why we have this reunited is about this Karen Connections. Karen Connections, again, is about your inner self and your outer self you know now i'm switching up the lingo and i'm always been the one on the cutting edge to always find ways to do new lingo as far as how we can be expressed how we are because again i'm in agreement i'm in congruency they're using big words for me <laughs> and they're not like what i'm in congruency with what they're stating about the words that we have here is not exactly fitting and it's creating more of a duality and it's creating more confusion into us becoming more connected and more coming together. Um, and so these finding of these words, again, uh, caring connections, again, about the congruency, you know, they used to have, we try to say reflections, uh, your reflection. Uh, your inner reflection, your outer reflection. But again, even in that, it seems like, again, there's separatism still in that. But understanding when we talk about caring connections, again, in the divine feminine energies, it means in our being, how we are, how we, again, on the outside of divine masculine energies, how we show up. We are making sure that we are building caring connections. And when I look at this caring connection, I'm looking at the number 14. It always reminds me about talking about light worker and bringing the light. Like me, even in the job where I say, you know what, just me showing up. I'm bringing the light. I don't have to do anything. You know, it used to be because on this journey that I was trained, I thought that, you know, you had to do something. Because, again, like we used to wear the braces and say, what would Jesus do? You know, I actually had to do it until Spirit had to kind of like sit me down and say, um, Bertina, uh, you actually don't have to do anything. Uh, we work through you. You're like an instrument, just like a violin. You know, unless you play it, then that's when you get beautiful melodies and pulling of the string. Well, guess what? That's us. We pull the string. We hit the different notes and vibrations and frequencies through you. You don't need to do anything. I was like, okay, cool. Very good. All I ask for is that them energies keep on going. They don't get stuck. Because a lot of times, sometimes in our energy fields that we're you know, again, I know April will be glad about that. Certain things that we eat, certain things we think, certain things that we do. Again, uh, it makes it seem like, well, again, it helps to kind of anchor into our 3D body. And it's like, no, I want you to kind of keep on flowing, keep on going. Especially when we're clearing out for the collective. It's very easy for a lot of that information or those um, that frequencies or energies that's being sent through us to kind of get kind of clogged in the side. Like, what the hell is that? Because, again, that's something, again, that might be a past life or some kind of energy that you claim from people around you or the collective is like it's resonating. It's like, oh, we're on the same frequency. I guess I'll stay here for a little while. And sometimes that's just, a, again, a remembrance to yourself to remind yourself that, hey, you might want to kind of draw a little attention to this space right here. What is this about? Is this something past life? Is this something childhood? Is this something, again, that's happening even in this relationship or this experience? Maybe you need to check that out, too, again. So when I see the number 14, it reminds me about the, again, our purpose is light workers. Why are we being sent here? To, again, frequency of love. 
um, let's see a frequency again about how we're expressing love, getting, giving love, and and receiving love too, as well. So when I look at this and I see the divine feminine has flowers here, that's again like some people say, you know, give me my flowers while I'm here, not while I'm dead. That means while I'm here, again, several ways you can get your flowers is either you give me your flowers to yourself. Another way that, again, other people are giving you flowers. So that goes back to the frequency again. I wasn't really paying attention to flowers again. But seeing in the cards, again, and I'm an energy empath, so I read energies. Again, from, again, inanimate or animate objects. Living, not breathing. So I can pick up on the frequencies and things of that, too. Again, looking at this and seeing that, again, what's the vibration from the card that's here is, again, it's talking about, again, how things are coming into bloom, how things are blossoming, and how, to me, how are we celebrating these things when we're talking about in caring connections. The divine masculine energies within or without, uh, again, your inner expression or your outer expression, I mean, it's in the 5D expression. Really, in some ways, no matter how the illusion or how it's looking about it, it has your back. They're supporting you. They're right there. As a matter of fact, they're looking and seeing, how are you? How are you celebrating yourself? I'm looking. I might not be in front of you, uh, but guess what? Wherever you are, I am. And so it is. So, again, it's looking and seeing about how are you receiving love. Thank you. How are you, again, um, and don't forget my notification. I'll put it over here so you can hear. Um, as a matter of fact, I'll turn it up, too. Um, again, remember, if it chimes, it's divine. Or I'm getting confirmation for spirit to say, yes, you're on the right road. Um, so, again, understanding that, again, although they're not there, but, again, they are with you physically. It doesn't matter. You can't separate. Remember I talked to you about the circle of life that they showed me in the dot which is the saying this is you and then you have also that connection of a line that is also connected to your outer self and again no matter what's going on whatever you're doing you're feeling just like vice versa the good or the bad you can always say well I can tell my twin doing that because I got like a side in my pain in my side he doing something he ain't got no business. Okay so again that is Again, a way of how you all stand connected and how you are feeling. That's just an example. So again, yes, you can at all times, again, your divine masculine is looking to see how are you receiving love? How are you celebrating love? Because again, that's going to help to be able to resonate and to show in the outer. Now, here we have the next card, which is six, which is contract. And so there's about this reunited and this feels so good. It's about this reunited. To me, it's like, okay, let's come back and relook at this contract that has us about united. Because, again, some of us have gotten off track or we're in separation from either our person or either the various things that we contractually said we signed off for as far as us in our soul saying that we were going to be here to either to learn or again to eradicate or to ratify or to get rid of or to root more grounded in or to redo all over again um, because that is going to help us again to strengthen how we are able to celebrate, to show love, and to receive love, um, especially when we talk about these caring connections. So it's God six is about love. Um, and to be, again, that six also can be saying getting ready. They're saying about getting ready to birth something uh, that was created in love. So, again, some of us, again, we're going blindly at it, or they're saying they got a fork in the road that you have been blind to, what has been on the, the fine print in the contract. Like, oh, I signed up for that. Oh, I don't remember that part. It's so small. You know, you really going to uphold me to that part that's really small? Like, I got to take a magnifying glass of this. And they like, uh, yeah, you signed off on it. That was part of it, too. Oh, okay. So I had to deal the fine print with third-party energy. That went along with me finding and discovering and being awakened by my twin. And I'm getting all these spiritual gifts and be getting online. But that the fine print was they got to come along. Yeah. Oh, man, I wish I would have. <laughs> man, I would have. I wish I would have 
we look at that uh, contract a little more um, carefully than in my haste. All I just seen was the end result about all I'm getting all of this, but I see the fine print. So that's what it's kind of they bring to me uh, about that because I'm seeing about I'm drawn to this print back here, uh, uh, like that. This is old. This is this is again almost like being a bit tale as old as time. You know, uh, this 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 been way before even the thought of humans or beings or whatever it is expression that you came in this is already written because again you serve a specific purpose a divine thing so again here we have here understanding about this reunited again is because it is getting you back into a place the garden within understanding that here and i never did i had to kind of look at this several times i'm saying i was not today years old, but five years down the line as a reader, to, I really had got the understanding of what this, the garden and the gate was really revealing to me. And I think each time I look at it, it's, every, it's always evolving into something else. But this is a young lady here. Uh, and this is the divine feminine energies to me representing like your childhood, your really sovereignty, being clear, being pure. But really seeing that, again, over time, whatever lessons and things that have been learned to you has also has helped you to create these barriers uh, that have stopped you from truly going into places of natural beauty because of you not understanding its true nature. But in this picture, you will see here that the young lady has the key around her neck at all times. And because of what has been done to in your childhood, your upbringing, you know, they always say, well, you're seven years old, you learned everything, everything's kind of locked in as far as your ideology, your philosophy, the things. And, you know, things come along to either confirm or to, again, settle or uh, make things more concrete that you say, yeah, this is what I believe. I'm going to stick to it because this is what life has shown me. Or sometimes you get those magical moments where something comes along and say, eh, what you learn, not quite. That don't seem like that's quite right. <laughs> you know, and that's what we're talking about. That is, again, this garden in the gate and understanding things are uh, it blooming. It's better on the other side, but it's been a lot of thinking, thinking, thinking. And Spirit wants us to understand about this reunited things. About, yes, there's things that you got to think of, but understanding that, again, this thing of being reunited with the various things that you're supposed to be online because of the contractual things that said you are supposed to have a part of or you're destined to have you have are the one that has actually been putting your a barrier up that has stopped yourself from being able to go ahead and get it in your being that's how you are so what's resonating in resonating out and it's because of again i came to my other the other day to me, they kept saying about all last week, although I didn't come on, but I'm saving it because I'm probably you all are ready to hear it now, is perception. Everything that we thought of, everything that we think of, to where again, you know, even now I could be looking at my hair and say, okay, uh, this could have been a little more crinkly than it is. But, you know, again, like they say, but do you know how you got here, how long it was for you to get to this natural hair journey where you were trying all these different products and things that it wasn't really the look that you were looking for and now you finally found it and now okay even though it's not the way you were you want to you know how your hair is it's got to get old and then once it gets old you can manipulate it and do things to it and put some more product of it and it'll come the way you like you know where this goes this goes to stages as usual the process the thing is that again you got to be patient i can hear myself saying it i can see a dad saying it <laughs> you know my higher self saying it i get all of that again being said again to be patient it's about perception and again this is again what we're doing to me this is all about perception the gate can be open easily why because you have the key with you at all times this is again that they say we got to change we got to change about how we're looking at things how we think people are having their perception and thinking about us because you know a lot of times people get on their own stuff they not they make it your business what you make what they doing 
your business, then that's when you become their business sometimes. You know, and sometimes like, yeah, you are the flavor of the month for a moment. And then, of course, like everybody, they have that squirrel moment. Squirrel, I'm off to something else. Uh, and so that, again, is something that we have to remember that. But this thing here about this reunited, about the things, the very things that we're supposed to be doing or the very things that we're supposed to be connected with or have or living with, again, they're saying that, again, we had the key all along. This sounds like um, the Wizard of Oz. You had the power to go home at all times. It was just you that did not leave it, you know, right? You had to click your heels three times or whatever like that. All that stuff is just a reminder to you. But the ability, even if you didn't have the ruby slippers or you didn't click your heels, you was destined to go back home anyway because you didn't belong over there at, at the Emerald City. That wasn't where you came from in the first place. Or plus, again, you was knocked unconscious and you just went there. Of course, you got to come back to consciousness sometimes because there's a lot of things in which you are destined to have in the 3D world and you must do. Okay, so anyway, Dorothy and Toto. <laughs> and you're not a dog, too. No, but anyway, so all of that stuff, you have to understand that, again, that is leading you to the second, which is all goes right back together, together, with caring connections, because the second chakra, which is your sacral, is about healthy, caring connections, but it's also about manifestation, which those two things go hand in hand, because why? Because in order for you to be able to have care and connections, again, and to be able to manifest, you need to be able to manifest healthily, have healthy boundaries about what things you are going to have into your reality and what things you are not going to accept in your reality as far as what things you want connected to you. Because when I think about care and connections, care and connections don't have to be about a relationship. It's about things coming into you. My big thing now is, is your energy field. I don't want that in my energy field. If you ain't on what I'm on as far as where I'm going or what I'm bringing to the table or where I want to go for the world and what's my platform and what I'm doing then, you know what? Maybe it's best that, again, just like the fall leaves, you go ahead and fall away. This is where, again, the universe, and it's not ego again, because, again, we want to be vibing on the same. It's about caring connections, because you don't need anybody to betray and act as if they're on your team. But at the same time, behind, they give giving, as the kids say, the evil eye, or they are, again, conflicting with the things that you're trying to manifest. And they're like, oh, that's nice. And then when you close the door, say, uh-uh, she ain't about to have that. I don't know why she thinking she about to have this YouTube commercial. I mean, this YouTube channel. Because uh, that ain't possible. Ain't nobody want to listen to her. Okay. Then you come in and say, I did my YouTube channel. Oh, that's so nice, baby. That's nice. Or your friends talk about, go on, girl. I see you. I'm about to do TikTok. And then they're like, mm, as soon as you leave out, they talk about No, we don't need that kind of stuff. And I'm picking up as well as I'm channeling here for some of the ones that are showing up in the outer, your outer self or the out one of the so-called connection is not being presently, physically right there, as you say, in the trenches in the 3D because they're in the trenches in the 50. You all are just like neck and neck. Understand that for them, some of them are dealing with, and this is a DM exclusive, are dealing with that energies of understanding that, again, I'm talking about those that have your counterparts that are in relationships or dealing with connections of their own that are not with you, that's the other person that's not watching this video, but your other person there is having issues as far as loyalty, as they're saying, uh, in their connections. This is why it's coming down that frequency. Again, you've got to, again, you be in the lighthouse or the ones that is in, so within, so not the one that's so without, of the connection, as you're saying, in the 3, 3D expression is having issues with understanding when they just corrected me they say no you having it too although you're in it same things happening in is same things happening out you really are checking and making sure that the connections are resonating with you 
in your frequency, in your DNA, feminine, divine feminine energies, just like they are too looking at the divine feminine energies with them themselves to see if these connections are resonating. They're having a little bit more harder time uh, than uh, trying to really feel that this is really resonating because, again, that's where, again, you've got to become one and really know yourself. That's why they're saying some of their uh, heart chakras are just becoming online uh, or, or awakening. That you know, I, I have problems sometimes with that because I'm like, ain't they got a heart? They have a heart all the time. But again, because of things that are happening to them, it's easy for them to close it. Like I feel it, I close it. I feel like close. Same thing, just like when my dad's talking about dreaming. He's like, I can dream, but I don't want to dream because when I do dream, I dream of me falling. You know, and the same thing. Everybody has that um, capacity. I have capacity in love, but again. Things have happened that caused me to close it off when I feel things I don't understand, so I close it off. Same thing with the divine masculine or the, the one, the person who is expressing in the outer of what's going on in the, in the connection inwardly is going to have a little harder time because, again, of a lot of other layers that they're going to have to kind of work through. They keep on showing me this going through these layers. has to go through and while they're going through that, again, but at the end of the day, because of the divine feminine energies, whether they're in you, the one that's in the connection, or the one who's on the outer expression of the it is feeling again, they no longer, the theme is, I no longer want to connect with things that don't make me feel good. Period. As the kids say, Period. I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. You're feeling it. They're feeling it. But they just don't know how to all that muck and stuff and trying to please everybody else. And I'm trying to please the person that I'm connected with or married to or the job and this and that and all that. And it might be all of it encumbered at the place I'm living in and to say this is no longer suited. We are more freer as far as in the being where things are keep on telling us. We keep on looking at the signs, the synchronicities, the five five fives keep on popping off, or the eight eight eights, or the thirteen. Like okay, now I really know it's telling me it's the ending of this. Well, I see twenty two thirteen. Just say that twenty two, or it's time to build and to get mastery. It's time to rebuild over again because I see the number twenty two. Those things, again, we're more sensitive to it, and we we'll know that we have help that's telling us to come on. Them, on the other hand, have more of other extra sensories. It's like a person who has, again, that has all these sensory, and it's hard for them to really truly hear the voice that's telling them that, hey, this ain't working. I feel it. I got an intuition. My intuitiveness is telling me that. I got a sense. My spidey senses is tingling. They get that. Some within me, no matter how it's been coming up before, is really truly telling me that something ain't right. Like uh, uh, Keith Sweat says, something, 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 something just ain't right. It ain't right. It just ain't right. They're hearing it. And it might even be the song keep on playing. Like, why every time I get in this car, this comes on? What the, what this mean? <laughs> Inside joke. So, you know, I, 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 so again, it's a way that understanding that these things are becoming stronger. They might not. The problem with, like I said, the outer is just not able to, could shake up, shake you up a bit. So right now, something's going on to say the cosmos is shaking them up. A bit. It's getting shaken. Ain't no more stirred. It's shaking. They were stirring before. Now they're shaking them up to see again, like the apples. Uh, I, like I said, the apple cider, uh, again, uh, and looking and seeing about all that settlement and all that stuff is floating around. And now they saying I can't see things so clear because now I, all this junk is here. Before I was like, don't rock the boat, baby. Don't tip the boat over. Now spirit say, uh, uh, give me this. I'm shaking it up. And now you're seeing what's all this crap, all this stuff you knew was down at the bottom of this stuff. But now you got to look and see this apple cider stuff, and now it's floating, okay? You call it good, we call it, it's got to get cleared up. It's enough. So again, this is what's going on on their side. So I'm kind of giving you the kind of insight of me channeling here um, too as well. 
and I think I, I've been saying this directly before, but I think also it has been directed me again, less on the card. So again, with you, I said, because I was like, is that it? They's like, yeah, you don't need to do no clarify on that one, unless it's that. This is very clearly put out here as far as what spirit is saying that needs to happen. And this is why this reunited and it feels so good. Because again, what I tell you is about this feeling. <laughs> I can't fight this feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. So again, so again, and some of them, that is true for them as well. The ones that's on the outer. Or if you want to say the runner. But I don't like that either because, hell, I be running too. I'm just, I'm just going to call the spade a spade. Because sometimes if he ain't acting right or he not doing what he doing, I'm off. I'm heading for the hills. I'm just going to be truthful about that. And you say, wait, Dad, you're the leader. You're supposed to be that. But I think in my truthfulness, you will understand and that will help you to understand about what you need to not do because you see what I'm doing. Almost like a parent. Don't do what I do. You're supposed to do better than I do. <laughs> you're like, huh? That don't make no sense. But, yeah, don't do what I do. Do better. Okay, I'm learning. So, again, that's the same thing that we have to understand that, yeah, uh, we both running. We have our moments of training. Sometimes he's standing in. <laughs> he told me over there, I don't give a darn if you're listening to me or whatever. He told me, he's like, I just gave you your space, and I was waiting for you to come back to yourself, and I was going to go back to contact you again because I'm like, yeah. we'd have been here before. You know, he's like, I just give you your space. It's like, okay, now he was in the lighthouse, and I was the one running. I'm like, shh, 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 uh, uh, running. I'm saying, you know, I'm just going to stand right here and let you just run in circles, run in circles. Run. Okay, stop. Here I am. Huh? Okay, now that's enough. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> We trade off like that. So, again, like I said, whomever. This is no, I think that again, but I just want to pull the destiny, and that's it again. Because what we do, like this reuniting, and it feels so good, we're destined for clear. Oh, I went over my time. I said that I want to do the shadow, and then I'm finished. Because we are destined, I heard you. Whoa, oh God, I'm about to throw it right at you. Because we are destined for the truth, that is true. The truth about who we are, our purpose, why we're here, why we're doing the things that we are doing. The truth about that we know that we have been, especially when we talk about these relationships and these connections, about being with that person. It's like this right here, this is our illusion. This is not the truth. I know what was said to me. I know what's been said in my heart. I know what's been said in my soul that's supposed to happen. This ain't matching up. And I know that was told. what was told to me was not a lie. This, the way we live in, is a lie. But that's not the truth. The truth of what I'm supposed to be doing, that's what we're destined on. Our mission, our purpose, the relationships, these healthy connections. This is why, again, reunited and feels so good because it feels so good because it's the truth. You can't deny the truth. You cannot, again, subtract it, add from it, divide it, multiply it. It's just the truth, okay? Next thing again, we're destined for success, okay? We are destined. That's what we're destined for success, understanding that this is. Like I said that before. Maybe there's the other one I talk about the kids. I say you're on the road to success. You're ready. The class is dismissed. You can go on to your next one. And that's how I dismiss class, uh, especially at fifth grade. Lord have mercy. I say five, right? That's change. Uh, so, again, really telling them, okay, you're ready. Okay, I see you're ready. You're ready for the rose for success. Oh, they like that. They got all this stuff. They get quiet. Shut up. We destined for success. You know, and so yeah, that's the same thing here about success. Understanding it, the ending of cycles. Re reunited with the things that I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be reunited with success because right now, whatever's showing up, is according for what this soul contract said is not quite it. It's like, yeah, but understanding again that here is about the patience in this caress and they got the crane. That's the inside joke for the sunshine circle. Um, this crane, the dance of the crane, the dance of the crane again 
is if you know how they do it they kind of like size up they go from side to side sometimes it looks like they're more distant from each other the two when they're doing the mating but again like some of them mimic like if i stomp and they stomp and i fly up they fly up it's a lot of a mirroring again like i said about that and so you want to make sure that again no matter how it does look like it's distance and whatever things and actions is being done on both sides that is still at the end of the day they come together that's the dance of the crane but guess what even in that dance of the crane as you're watching them because i watched the video and i was like geez when is they gonna get together or they gonna keep on doing this elaborate dance it's patience it's patience in the process. It's the patience in getting to success. It's patience in getting ready and knowing that that is your truth, that you are living in. Uh, this caring connection is going to be worth it. It's patience in you developing and getting into your missions about how you're connecting to other people, to yourself, getting the right people in line for this mission or this organization or this business that you want to have there's patience in that and it's learning in that and it's divinity in that it's almost like they say to the to, to, to clean is to be divine and to be patient is the divine to understand that too that's where divinity is actually baked it's cooked it's developed in that and that's what we forget because of the society that we have now, and we talked about that in one of my professional developments, where they were saying the society is this microwave, instant, want it now. And also they were saying about having grit. Uh, we were reading a book by Angela Duckworth, and she was saying about how you can be able to have grit. And understanding that they kept on saying that you must stress to the kids that, again, it's a marathon, not a sprint. The divine being divine in the journey of the divine or being divine is a marathon and a sprint it travels just like the light that we are we travel on the path off the path but each way it goes we're still on the path of being divine because even in those times when we're off the path we're getting sharpened up like iron and we get more sharper and more stronger that we can stay on that path a little longer until another challenge comes around or another lesson that has to be learned and we drop off the path and we're like okay i got to learn some more but understand this like they're showing me each time that that happens your thing is start you start from here like almost a wave you're starting up until now i'm at the top each time i'm on the path off the path that's ascension Ascension is almost again like they're saying, and I and they bring it to me, so now I'm solidifying again. Two as well is just like that DNA strand. It's just like again that spiraling, again where you're going up, and you're going up. It's never a straight up path. It's a lot of winding. <laughs> and who's seen that? Every day is a winding road. Do won't get get closer. Whatever, even if I change the words, you know I change the words. Hey! Uh, I changed the words. Your sister underneath there? Okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. I had to do that because my kid. Because uh, we just get down there and they like going underneath this chair here. So, again, we, we're getting closer. And every time when we're winding, it's leading us to get closer too. Okay? All right, then. Thank you so very much. For listening to this one again, uh, this is really helping us to understand reunited and it feels so good. Why, why, we, why is this needed? Why is this a message for now? Okay, as always, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Now I'm going to stay, now I'm going to go. Love you. If you need any services need, look at the description box below. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking to this channel. And welcome if this is your first time being here. As always, and again, I'll be talking to you real soon. Mwah, love you. Until next time.